All right, guys, this is Rafi Chowdhury today with rafichowdhury.com. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to figure out if a girl is cheating on you. Something that we all come across. It's a very common thing, especially in our society with social media and all these things going on. So we want to figure out how, what are the ways that you can, you can just pinpoint it, you can spot it, and what can you do about it. So here is the rule number one. How can you tell? Number one is you will notice that she will not let you get into your phone. No matter what, she will not let you see your phone. And you can be like, hey, why not? Why can't we have the, why can't we, you know, why can't I see what's in your phone? She'll say, oh, no, no, that, are you trying to get into my privacy? Think about it. If there was some, nothing that she needed to hide, there would, no, there would be no reason why she wouldn't let you see her phone, right? So that's the first thing you should consider is that, is she letting you get into her phone, okay? And if she's using the excuse like, no, you, should, you don't trust me, you don't trust me. Hey, there's probably a reason why she's saying that. If there was nothing to hide, she wouldn't be hiding it from you. All right, rule number two, okay? You gotta have access to her social media. And if she doesn't let you, if she's on Facebook's chat messenger and you're over here and she quickly switches out of it, something is going on here. You wanna be careful, right? Because a girl that's that's clearly um, <clears throat> like not, you know, basically very committed to you there's no reason for her not to let you see her Facebook messages and who she's talking to or an Instagram, who is she talking to? What, th th there should never be one of those situations where she won't trust you being there next to her while she's logged into her own accounts. All right, the third thing that I would talk about is that you should you need to get in really good touch with the, with her friends. Like, be make it a point to stay connected to all of her friends because her friends will be one of the first people to let you know, hey, so and so that you're dating, uh, yeah, we, we saw her last night with somebody else, right? That's, that's another way that you can just safeguard yourself by making friends with her friends. Uh, and so if you can build a relationship with one of her friends that's stronger than the relationship that they, that her, her and her friends have, chances are if something like that does come up and it does go from her to her friends, her friends probably going to take your side because she has a better friendship with you and warn you that, hey, this is what you're getting yourself into. All right, the fourth way that you can figure out if a girl is cheating on you or not is very, very simple. Figure out where she goes, right? Just just have a good good idea of what her daily routines look like. And is she available at certain hours? She has certain events, right? If she's going to different places where she usually doesn't go, they're, they're, that's a sign that she's probably, you know, meeting with somebody else out of the ordinary. Maybe... I'm not saying it's always going to be the case, but if she's consistently going to different places that she doesn't normally go to or not able to respond to you during certain times where she usually does, chances are that that time that she normally had open is being invested doing something else with somebody else. So that should be a warning sign for you that, hey, something is not, something doesn't seem right. Why is she, you know, she, usually she's always available at 7 p.m. on a Friday. What is she up to tonight? Why is she never available during these hours anymore? And last but not least, another way you can spot a cheater, typically, is going to be when you talk to them and you ask them questions, they start getting defensive, right? People that are liars tend to be, get very defensive even if you ask them simple questions. So even subtly hinting that, if you see her blinking a lot, that's one sign. If, if people blink a lot during something, that is a definite sign that they're probably either nervous about something or they're, they're, not, they're not sure what to say or they're lying. There's one thing, one thing. The second thing you can look at is that they will not give you eye contact. If you ever bring up topics similar to cheating or you bring up scenarios or you talk about other people that have done that, you see that she, when you, whenever you're talking to her, she doesn't give you eye contact when responding to those questions. That could be a sign that she's probably not telling the truth. Other little body language you can look for is that people that are nervous tend to like, like um, they make little like clicking sounds or they, they do something, they jitter, they do something with their fingers or their legs or something like that because they're nervous and they don't want to be faced with those kind of questions. That's another way, okay? Another thing you can, you can try to spot is people that are usually lying will tend, to, uh, will, will tend to answer questions with negatives. Instead of saying that, oh no, uh, no. They will basically be using a lot of no or negative or N type of... Uh, negative type of words to, to explain uh, any type of situation, explain something to you. Instead of saying and, and answering in an affirmative, they will try to deny it by, and then naturally, these kind of no type of words come into their language. So that's it guys, just think of these type of things that we talked about. There are six things that we, we discussed right now. Um, again, these are not obviously telltale signs that someone might be cheating on you, but 
these are these are things that you should consider if 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 you're ever curious. Now, what can you do about it? Well, there isn't a whole lot you can do about it if someone's cheating on you, right? You're not gonna go follow them 24/7. That doesn't make any sense. And relationships should be built on trust. So if you can't trust your significant other, then you really shouldn't be with that person. So my advice to you is that if you ever suspect it, if you're watching this video, their chances are you've suspected someone and guess what? Chances are you're not with the right person. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you guys.